nothing do happens, you know, just by that, just by accident, everything really happens for a reason. But even before that, two seasons ago, something happened. You were just on the verge <laughs> of making it to Brighton and Hoven, uh, Hove yeah, Avion. Yeah. What happened? Yes, um, with this medical checks, I don't know if you heard of it. Um, they said they saw, they saw something special with the heart and they couldn't take the risk. But they asked me if I had heart problems or so. Or that. I said, no, nobody, nobody in my family have uh, I've gotten any heart problems before. But, um, you know, you know, the Lord has ways, you know, of, 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 of taking us to the next level in our lives. And I always pray that if it is in the Lord's will, He should allow it to happen. But if not, you know, He, he knows better than, than we do. So, yeah, I remember, I quite remember in the plane, I, I was praying to the Lord, Father, please, if it is your will, let it happen. If not, I'm still yours, you know. And when we went there, that was what happened. So I, I prayed and thanked the Lord that it was His will that I, I would not be there. You know, if it is my time to be there, to, to be playing in the English Premier League, I will be there. Um, even though it might look um, a bit awkward and you know in the eyes of other people, but I, I know who I'm serving. I know who stands behind me. So uh, yeah, God is good. Did God. it affect you in any way? Your confidence? You it lost. Did. You, you you were not playing for some time. The national team. You came. There was a game. You couldn't perform. Oh, yeah. You know. I think that, that was a qualifiers against yeah. Kenya. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you couldn't play. Yeah. To what extent did it really, you know? take you off your reels yeah honestly honestly um i was i was really worried um uh, i lost confidence though um because i'm a human being you know people talk you, you hear you hear comments and all sort of that um it was it was really challenging did you really fear at a point in time that your career was over no 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 but basically you know i, I it's been always my it's been always my desire like to play and enjoy football uh, both club and, and, and national team and at that, at that moment um, it was difficult even to you know to play football to get to gain that confidence to to, to, to even to pass the ball to a player you know and it's normal it's normal as a human being sometimes you feel a bit scared but um, yeah bit by bit the Lord gave me strength and and, 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 and how did you overcome that fear yeah. Uh, Special medical treatment from no, <laughs> no, 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 no. But really, honestly, Zurich helped me a lot with this. Um, they really talked to me like they took me as a son. The president, the coach, uh, the entire football, uh, the entire team, the staff. Like they, they took me as as their son. You know, they spoke to me. They encouraged me a lot. And I remember when um, we played a game against Toon and I, I scored a goal. I made an assist. Like I, after it was after that medical checks you know yeah. and that, that boosted my confidence up again and i remember in the derby i scored again against um, grasshopper zurich so um, honestly like first of all glory to the lord jesus and secondly it was uh, is it's to the to the entire club of fc zurich you know you came onto the scene you know with a bank nobody knew of you until the reports came in from austria that you were banging in the goals for austria and um, lustenel before that you you had played um, at um, Life Ring, Life Ring yeah. and yeah. then you were signed on at um, Red Bull Salzburg. That's um, your parent club. Yeah. How did it all start for you as a footballer? Um, it was. I, it was. I, I was. I was. It was um, sort of miraculous uh, thing uh, because we. When we were playing in Sogakope, we we went to we went to a tournament in France, and I, I was the best player. And David Atanga was uh, the top scorer in the league, uh, in the tournament. And afterwards, Red Bull Salzburg was like, okay, they've, they've seen two two guys of um, Ghana, so they would like they would like us to come to Austria for trials. And you know the good thing when we when we came to Ghana, um, there was a demonstration, you know, in the club, yeah, Red Bull, and so they had to sack all the players, and it was left with me and Atanga. So in one week time we went back to Austria so imagine if we were not selected in Austria and then we came you know by now we would also be in Ghana and uh, I don't know but you know God is good but when I went there I went there with Atanga it was um, it was a really a good moment for us it was also challenging with language wise with food um, but yeah the Lord really took absolute control of our lives he, he helped us we, we made a really good impact in the in the team um, Atanga was promoted to the first team earlier. I was still playing for the under 18 and then later on I got to the second team and yeah honestly from the beginning it was challenging but uh, like I always say you know the, the Lord has great plans for us and 
nothing do happens, you know, just by that, just by accident, everything really happens for a reason.